Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use channel locks. In this video, I'll be going over a simple tutorial and showing you how to use this amazingly useful tool. All right, let's get right into it. So channel locks, um, as the name implies, have different channels. And those separate channels allow you to get different sizes with the tool. So as you can see right here, these lines that you see are the various channels, okay? And obviously the lines that are closer to the top are gonna give you a smaller grip, and then the lines that are closer to the bottom are gonna give you a much larger grip. So as you can see, if I bring it all the way to the bottom right here, this is the grip that I get. I can grip something that is really large. And if I bring it all the way to the top, this is the grip that I get, which is a completely closed grip, which means that I can grip something that is very small, like extremely tiny, all the way to very small, just like that. Now, as you can see, the channel locks have these teeth right here, which is great because that means that they're going to be able to grip many different things that have many different sizes. Now, this is how you actually use them. Now that I've gone over um, the, the, what they are and sort of shown you the different options, this is how you use them. What you want to do to move the channels is, first and foremost you can't move the channels when it's completely closed like that as you can see I'm trying to pull down and you shouldn't be able to move the channels for the most part but if you want to make it bigger or smaller what you want to do is what you want to do is open it up and then sort of push down or up depending on which way you want to move it and just wiggle it a little bit so I like to just wiggle it and then it allows it to find that sweet spot that allows it to move so let's say I wanted something like this which is you know somewhere in the middle of the smallest and the biggest that's what it would get me that would be the smallest grip of it that would be the biggest grip of it now let's say I wanted to go all the way to the bottom this is pretty much the largest that we can go with regards to the channel locks this is this is the complete largest that we can go Go. and this would be a completely squeezed grip on an object uh, or a bolt or whatever it is that you're trying to remove now like I said you want to open it up and sort of give it a little wiggle as you move it uh, as you press it upwards or downwards so as you can see I brought it to the highest point right here I'm gonna open it up give it a little wiggle and move it downwards and you can go ahead and just move one channel like let's say I was at this channel and I wanted to go one up I would just give it a little wiggle until I find that sweet spot and there you go I want it to go one down let's see just push it down a little bit until you find that next channel and then you can use it in that channel freely let's say I want it to go one more down just like that use it in that channel freely and like I said all of these little curved spots are the channels okay which makes sense I mean that's what the channels end up looking like uh, just as you're using it and that's basically it that is how to use channel locks and obviously for the finale of this tutorial once you've actually put it into the channel that you want then obviously you're gonna go ahead and, and squeeze it um, and to get the pressure that you want now what I always recommend is you know some people like to use two hands but I would always recommend using one hand so I like to hold it like this so get the uh, this this part right here, this part of the handle, uh, the part that's actually moving like that, get it like this. And then what you can do is you can use your fingers to open it up and then you can squeeze it together just like that. So basically what you want is you're holding it like this, your index finger and your thumb are holding it like this. And then you can use these fingers to open it, open it up and then squeeze it shut just like that. And that allows you to use the channel locks with one hand. Now obviously, um, if you go further down, what's gonna happen is it's gonna be harder to grip it with one hand, but you're gonna get more uh, pressure, more leverage. So what I recommend is, you know, get, use it like this, squeeze it around whatever it is that you want, and then if you want more pressure, then you can shift your hands down and really give it a squeeze down here. And that's basically it. The goal with channel locks is to kind of use one hand so you can get that, that pressure that you need just like that. And that's basically it. In this video, I've shown you how to use channel locks. I hope that you've enjoyed this video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.